Hey, Happy New Year and welcome to the 25th year of the Friday Funnies. We started out as a weekly fact page and evolved over the years into this lovely electronic version you see today. This only proves that if you, uh, if you work hard and apply yourself, you will never run out of things to make fun of. Well, we began this year with a, a global urinating competition between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump. Un said, I have a button. Trump said, ooh, I have a bigger button. Un said, no, my button bigger. Trump said, my button is so big, it makes my hands look small. So, stay tuned to see what happens here. I watched the Bro Rose Parade. The Rose Parade on New Year's Day, I was impressed that each float had to be completely covered with vegetation. And I'm thinking now that recreational pot is legal in California, I can't wait to see the float in next year's parade sponsored by the California Pot Growers Association. It's going to be huge. It'll spell out DUDE in 14 strains of hemp. And at the end of the parade, they'll burn it. Well, until that happens, however, here are the first Friday Funnies of 2018. According to Sin Chu Daily, a Chinese newspaper with just an impossible crossword puzzle, a woman driver was rear-ended by another car when she stopped suddenly. The woman said she slammed on her brakes because of the red light, but it turns out that the red light that she saw was actually a golden monkey mooning her from atop the light pole. She mistook the monkey's red butt for a red light, and I gotta ask you, who among us is not guilty of that, huh? The monkey escaped from a local circus, and the circus manager agreed to pay for the auto repairs. The monkey is still laughing. Well, our first Dumbass of the Week award for 2018 goes to Edwin Wiley Biggs, a prisoner in Allegheny County, Pennsylvania. He's serving a six-year sentence, but now, now he gets to extend his stay for free. When corrections officers were conducting a strip search, they discovered a bag of synthetic marijuana tucked up his butt. Normally, that would be a bad thing, but Edwin had an excuse. He said, the, dr the drugs were not his. He said, somebody must have snuck up on me and put the drugs in my butthole when I wasn't looking. Nice try, but now at least you'll have some extra time to dream up a better alibi for next time. Congratulations, Edwin Wiley Biggs. You are the year's first dumbass of the week. Animals disrupted two airline flights this week. A Delta flight going from Michigan to Georgia was disrupted after takeoff and forced to return to the airport when a stowaway was discovered on board. It seems that a hummingbird snuck on board and the crew couldn't catch it. Personally, I find the concept of a bird flying on board an airplane to be delightfully ironic, but Delta said every passenger has to have a ticket. In California, at Oakland International Airport, an Alaska Airlines flight to Portland was stopped, uh, it was stopped from taking off when the ground crew spotted a rat jumping into the plane at the last minute. That's, that's good timing there. The rat's name is Jimmy No-Nos, and he said he needed to get out of town in a hurry. Hey kids, that's it for the first Friday Funnies of 2018. I'm looking forward to bringing you 51 more this year. Have a wonderful weekend. Please share this with your friends and leave us a like if you don't mind. Thanks and I'll see you next Friday.